Hello everyone, my name is Prakash Mathani and welcome to Learn and Tech. Today I'm going to talk about how you can create free hosting for your website using freehosting.com and you can start running your website on a live server. So freehosting.com provides you a feature to host your website free of cost up to 10 GB of data. So just log into a freehosting.com site and click on get started section here. And there you can see that there is a select your hosting plan. One is free hosting and one is paid hosting. So we have to choose this free hosting and you can check out what are the feature available on this particular free hosting. It provides you a 10 GB disk space, one hosted website, one email account, one MySQL database and that's all. So before proceeding, uh, one thing that we need, we need one of the domain registered with us to whom we want to host. So I have a domain with me in my GoDaddy account here. So this is the thisngb.com I have already purchased from a GoDaddy and I'll just link this particular domain to a free hosting, right? So I'll go in a free hosting.com now and I'll click on or in our section. So there is an option choose a domain. If you haven't purchased a domain, you can purchase a domain from here also. And if you already have a domain, you can use this particular option. I will use my existing domain and update the name server. So let's go in my GoDaddy section and use the domain, this particular gmail.com and use it. So now you can see that your domain has been configured here and you can see that these all are feature available here and your order summary is zero dollar that means your domain hosting is free of cost and if you want to add additional feature to your this particular hosting you can add it from here but these are the paid things so we don't have to go there just click on continue And it will ask uh, you to check out this particular option and the subtotal is $0. Click on checkout option. And here you have to fill the detail of your organization or about you. So just, uh, I'll just type my name here. Enter your email address. Use the dummy email I've created and enter your mobile number and your company name address select your country here Okay, sorry, select your country from here first and there you'll find cities. I'm gonna select my city and all this here with the postal code. All right, <clears throat> and select one of the password for your this particular hosting. So once that all is done, click on complete order. Your order is completed. There is your order number that has been generated. So what you have to done now, please check your email and follow the link to verify your email address. So what you have to do is now, there is an email has been sent from freehosting.com to my email address i have to verify that email address that that is my email valid email address and after that i will be redirected to, to a dashboard section right so i'll just go in my uh, email section there you can see that i got two email from freehosting.com and so you have to just click on this particular link or you have to copy this link and paste it on your browser 
just paste in my browser section and I will provide my email address here and the password which I earlier set for this particular account and I'll click on login section so now you can see that uh, you are uh, able to see that dashboard of your free hosting site and if I refresh this particular section also and continue to client area you'll get the same dashboard here also so now what I have to do is all the things I have done and now I have to change the name server for this particular domain so what is the name server so when you uh, transfer your domains to uh, other hosting provider you have to change the name server for that particular domain so I'm going to change uh, this ngv.com DNS go in a name server section below there you will find the name server we have to change it make it custom there is a two option for name server now go to your email which you get from pre hosting and you will see there you will see a mail that will okay so one more email I'll get from freehosting.com in a few seconds and there it will be mentioned that the domain names for this particular domain and I'll fill up the domain detail and that's all we are set to go. So now I got a new email from freehosting.com and it is mentioning that the name server 1 and name server 2 which I need to fill up uh, in my this particular name server here. So what I'll do just copy the ns1.freehosting.com and I will just paste it here and will copy ns2.freehosting.com and I will just paste it here. So once that is done, click on save and I have just added a name server to this particular section. So uh, it is saying that feature may be unavailable while we process your update. Some update require confirmation. Please check your inbox for possible confirmation. So what to do that? My this uh, domain will be redirected to this particular freehosting.com within 24 hours. So hardly it takes one or two hours, or sometimes 15 minutes to uh, get it ready. And once it is ready, we are ready to host our site in freehosting.com. So let's check in our, our dashboard section here. I'll just refresh my dashboard here and you can see that uh, your active product and services is showing now so now uh, when I click on this free hosting.com you can see that uh, my hosting is activated for this particular this right uh, this is your who's information for your hosting site and you can see that for your email account file manager SQL database PHP admin all is coming up here so for uploading my website for this particular uh, domain i'll go in my file manager section and in the www double click on this particular section and you can see that there is right now index.php style.css file out there and if i will type my site gv.com you can see that your website is up and running and it's showing a uh, style of css and cgi bin here so exactly the same thing it's showing up here so what i uh, need to do now i have to upload a new site here and make a site live on this particular section so what i'll do just i will upload one of my website here so let me take you to one of my site section I have few website here and you can see that I've already zipped the website here and now I have to just upload the zip website here you have to either drag and drop it here so what I'll do that I'll just drop this particular zip file in this section okay it is not 
getting uploaded so i just copy the path and paste it here upload the file <coughs> so this particular uh, website is uploading on my cpanel section so once it is uploaded we'll go back and we'll see what's happening there now my entire site has been uploaded to this particular section it's showing the 100 percent just click on go back to the home of sanjeev.com and there you can see that this zip file is showing up here so what you have to do is you have to just extract it and you have to extract it here right and it is done there and you can see that this quality is showing up here just double click on this particular section and all these folder you have to select them all and you have to move one level up you have to just remove this particular section and move your file and now just go to your this ngeev.com and your site will be ready so you can see that now the ngeev.com and the site is up and running perfectly so this is how you can <clears throat> you know host your website free of cost on freehosting.com these are the very easy steps this is how you can do it and please let me know in case you've been any issue and check it out my other video too and subscribe to my channel learn and tech thank you so much